Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about my course uh, VPA for Quant Finance which I am planning to start in the month of April. So this course would uh, be helpful if you're looking for something in financial engineering. I've tried to build it in a way to give you an idea about all major aspects of financial engineering and how to apply them in VB. So important points about my course as always requires no pre-knowledge. I have built it in a way where I'll talk about quantity finance and VBA. I'll be talking more uh, on quant equity, corporate finance, investment banking, fixed income, derivatives and uh, we'll be covering all aspects. Some of the theories that I'll be using are there in CFF or embed exams so you'll find it helpful there as well. So this is the structure that I plan to take. Uh, the first and foremost thing is to understand uh, the different languages that are used in uh, financial engineering. What are the advantages of uh, VBA? Uh, how, when should we use VBA versus MATLAB versus R versus SAS versus C++? What's all this about? Which language would fit in which place? So a little idea on that is uh, the VBA is good when you want to do a small coding on Excel. So in that place VBA becomes easy because uh, uh, you still remain in the Excel world so you don't have to jump here and there. MATLAB is more useful when you want to use many pre-built functions and mathematical functions and objects. Uh, R is just another version of uh, MATLAB or a kind of a all features that MATLAB have is available in R for free. SAS is more often used when you have huge data and you want to play with huge data where MATLAB would not be so much useful. So that's where I see SAS used more often. MATLAB is much easier, easy to learn. I find SAS a bit tough when it comes to uh, going into the Enterprise Miner. I don't see any course on Enterprise Miner. There's nothing there much to read about. So if you, if you were to use uh, R then it would cover most of the things that we have in MATLAB and SAS so that's that's one aspect so that that's about these languages C++ is a very low language low level language it it's very faster it's convenient and it's the programmer's choice oops sorry about that so th that that's all about the comparison now what i'm trying to develop here is uh, a course that's going to help you in Quant corporate finance and investment banking where you have to calculate WAC, where you have to calculate beta using regression, where you have to calculate the time series of sales because sales fluctuate in each quarter so ultimately you are going to use an auto regressive model to build uh, a series uh, where you will predict sales and things like that. In beta you are going to use regression on the stock prices and uh, some of the things like uh, waiting, t making data tables and things like that. They're, those are things that are going to be very useful when you move into corporate finance side and the quad part especially. Then the equity quant is more about uh, the indices that we have, uh, how to build an indice, an equity based indice, how to give the weights and things like that, uh, the growth index, value index derivative index and things like that so uh, how to adjust the corporate events and uh, uh, an equity index uh, how to use those quantitative formulas uh, if there is a split or buyback or anything how would that work so that's about equity quant part or the quant that's used in equity and the fourth is the data type and uh, the ranges cell arrays opening file data handling visualization all this is VBA so uh, if you might be looking at my other courses, all these things are very common in MATLAB. So the data types nearly work works in the same way. You, we use DIM to declare various types of data. We group a, a number of cells to create these ranges. And uh, we play with the ranges because uh, uh, we can use them as a variable and rename and move the range here. So, so we don't have to uh, hard code anything so that that's one advantage of the of uh, making ranges in Excel and uh, how to use data validation in VBA how to use data tables in VBA how to use pivot tables in VBA that's another thing that uh, is an Im that is important here which I would be looking at in my fourth session then we have the logical operators control 
flow it's more about the for statement do while statements and the functions are mostly the user defined function where you can take some input you can throw some output you can take a dynamic input you can take a number of inputs which you don't have to define play with them and things like that then there is something coin called uh, joining strings using li uh, delimiter where you can uh, even you can pick up many data from cells and put it in one, just one cell using some delimiter which could be comma or a slash or anything so that that's another interesting aspects of aspect of VBA which you can use in excel then independent session goes on helping on handling missing data like finding dead cells uh, like picking the uh, picking values uh, or making uh, the dead cells uh, go in a particular color and things like that and also the data pulling into excel using uh, various uh, vba functionalities that we have then we have the distributions normal distribution inverse distribution uh, some things that and uh, of course the uh, percentile function that's going to help you filter things out when you use kmv model so if you're using a kmv model and you say that uh, uh, you want to find out the probability of default for a company from the equity part then uh, uh, you have to use that percentile function there so that would be more handy in the KMV model then we have the portfolio optimization blacks black shoals uh, goal seek is often used here and some of the other things now once you know all of these things we can move ahead and build a Monte Carlo simulation that would use time series that would use regression that would use distributions that would also use the random number generation so this is the end goal of uh, the entire course to make a Monte Carlo simulation of everything that we have uh, you can move in this direction once you are done here so just to define areas in financial engineering that we are going to touch uh, my main focus would be on quant corporate finance quant equity a little less focus comparatively on the fixed income side and the binomial pricing side uh, probably because I think that those people who are doing this will move to our SAS MATLAB but uh, the first two would still stick to VPA because uh, they don't need a lot of formulas and complexity so for the first two VBA is good for the next two I would say that MATLAB RSAS is good Monte Carlo simulation if you were to make a simple then you can do it in Excel as well and then we have the portfolio optimization so if you were to look at what's going on in VBA things that you should know the first step starts with knowing all the data types then we have the uh, loops you should know the nestled if else loop how to get out of the if else loop if the com uh, uh, if the condition is met using a for statement and the for is always uh, ended with a next using cascaded for statements and exiting it at some point then another interesting area is using arrays in VBA arrays and the ranges are two important aspects so we often use arrays as a f as a input to various functions or we throw out an array as the output of a function so understanding those arrays dynamic arrays is like uh, suppose uh, a function taken a number of arrays and uh, it f it find out it finds out the fifth element of the array or five comma zero element of the array so that's where we would use the dynamic arrays and, and dynamic functions so that's where those all things fit in and then we have uh, the sorting of data accessing elements of data because uh, uh, most of the times we need to access them I'm and uh, understanding uh, the other logical organization so the heart and soul here is the user defined function these are more of a theoretical kind of a thing so user defined function and uh, how to use them in uh, getting things done that's uh, the heart and soul about uh, this part okay now object oriented programming if you might have any experience about this one it would be very easy to look uh, things in VBA but uh, one thing to understand is that uh, all of the things that we deal with are objects so uh, an array object or uh, uh, a string object or a range object all of these things are object and we can play around with them 
so th th that's the concept of uh, the various objects that we create even sheets are objects so everything is treated as object and uh, we can play around with them with uh, by using some of the features so that's all about uh, object oriented programming it's very similar to the other languages so uh, then we have the csv comma separated file and moving data in and out of excel and uh, using various databases like sql or any other thing that could be integrated so uh, this is about the object oriented part now these are some list of uh, issues that we'll be looking at like finding out dependencies like precedence and dependence that's point one finding out uh, non-blank cells or uh, selecting a sheet changing a color where you find uh, a formula or anything and making loops if loops uh, else loops uh, exiting loop for loop do while loop and things like that which is point fifth importing values from other sheet without opening uh, moving around with the uh, manual to automatic formula there is uh, a manual calculation then there is automatic beside data tables and there is an automatic option on the top hand side so how to enable disable that and when to do that to make things easy then there is data table with two variables how to use data table using VBA how to do all that uh, thing using VBA then we have the with command set command and uh, selecting cell with specific values like if you want to select something which is data validation which is used in data validation you can uh, use VBA to select those type of things uh, then we have the data tables which are of two variables combining array using a delimiter and putting it into a single cell that would that becomes handy when you want to move things here so suppose you want to move 20 entries from here to there so what you can do is that you can use a delimiter, combine them, uh, keep them in a cell and move uh, them from one part of uh, your Excel sheet to the other. Then we have the data validation, playing with strings, chart formatting when you want to make charts using VBA, functions with many input where you can use a number of ranges as, func uh, as function inputs 2, 3, 4, on error statement, option explicit means you don't have to define things and selecting uh, clear arrows this is something which is used in dependencies so this is about uh, those points that we are going to learn and once we are done with that these are our main goals that we would uh, like to program in VBA like finding dead cells changing color of cells working with data validation values playing with ranges uh, function with many inputs uh, understanding complex cases of for loops like uh, picking elements of range uh, understanding how to import data from other files understanding how to build complex models like KMV and finding probability of default or running a Monte Carlo simulation and joining and separating sorry this is not files this is joining and separating values from uh, various cells into one cell using a delimiter and once we are done with that, that will help us to do things like uh, equity quant, which is understand equity indices and corporate events on indices. Uh, we can understand. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Then understanding these time series, EV by Epita in investment banking, drawing out how. This, these parameters would move uh, using a Monte Carlo simulation things like that uh, data handling in itself is a major uh, chunk of what we look at so th that forms the heart and soul of all things that we do then we have the logical operators some things uh, that we do like a statistic various distribution handling missing data playing with ranges applying all these things and the ultimate goal is to create a Monte Carlo setup that would use all of the concepts that we have talked about